Well, the field of molecular biotechnology is really a collection of research tools and techniques that are applied to life, studying life. The, um, those tools cross disciplines. We think about biochemistry, microbiology, cell biology, genetics. All those various disciplines that study life processes use the tools of molecular biotechnology. Um, I know it's a, it's a field that many individuals don't really have a good grasp of. What is molecular biotechnology? Well, it's focusing on genetic information and proteins, and then using those molecules, nucleic acids, proteins, and modifying them for some kind of benefit, typically a human benefit, but it could be animal benefit as well, but to provide us with some type of, some kind of benefit that can improve health states or can improve the quality of life for animals and people. One of, the, one of the areas that right now is very generating a lot of excitement is reducing the cost of sequencing a human genome. I would say probably within a decade, we are going to have that available to us as part of our health care, where you pull out your genome card and pass it through the scanner, and your physician will be able to call up the relevant parts of your genome that are going to be pertinent to a particular health care situation that you are meeting with that physician to discuss. Uh, the agricultural economy is, is being impacted by molecular techniques and molecular biotechnology. We are progressing towards a more molecular approach for animals and, and plants as well. The, there's a growth in an area that's now being referred to as the animal corridor that goes from Kansas City out west to Manhattan and, and beyond. And it's because we have such a strong agricultural tradition in Kansas. So now we are integrating molecular biotechnology into that tradition and improving plants, uh, uh, working with uh, animal practitioners, so that biotechnology is becoming more and more important to the state. Students not only are gaining knowledge and skills in a traditional academic environment, but then they take those knowledge, they take that knowledge and skills and they move it out to a set of, of affiliates and partners that we have out in the community, whether they be in hospitals or research laboratories or academic university laboratories or industries that are involved in vaccine development or pharmacogenomics, uh, just understanding how cells work, basic life properties. And so our students move into those environments and they, 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 they work while they're actually still in school and they're gaining additional knowledge, but they're putting that to practice so that they are, when they finish our program, they're moving right out into our workforce and, and providing a set of skills, not only at the bench, but also at a higher level so that they have the type of, of, they have the type of knowledge that they need to be able to uh, help really move companies forward, move hospital laboratories forward, and help grow our biotechnology sector. Kansas.